Hey everybody. So in today's video, we are going to look at the easiest way to create AI applications using Dyad and open source LLMs with Ulama. So I'm going to show you how to set this up with Ulama and also look at other providers. So Dyad is a local open source AI app builder and it is faster and also enhances privacy. So you are fully in control and can compare it to the likes of Lavabo V0 or Bolt. And also it runs right on your machine. All right, so here are some of the features and you can see here it's faster pri and also private and you can bring in your own keys. All right, so you have the option to choose Mac or Windows versions. So here it's pretty simple. And here is under the open source Apache 2.0 license. All right, so when you click here, you just go to the next stage, which gives you the option to download which version you want to use. All right, so you can build unlimited AI apps and you can launch your full stack app entirely in Dyad. All right, so you can use other integrations like the Superbase integrations and it also looking at privacy, which we are going to look at with Olama. All right, so the next thing is when you click in here, you should pretty simple, uh, pretty easy to install. All right, so here it should take you to here when you are down downloading there and installing the dyad it should show like this and pretty simple here is where you build your app right it's the interface where you can build your app so you have the option to generate and edit code and you can ask questions about the app all right so that should take you here and that's the chat so you can chat here all right and the next thing is where you have the settings so you have different type of settings you have the version to change it to light for your theme system or dark i want dark and here you have to auto update so you select that option so it makes it easy to automatically update the app when there's new versions and here is the release channel you can set that to stable or beta but you know that beta receives more frequent updates and it has maybe a lot of bugs right so here's the workflow settings you can auto approve you approve your code changes and you run them and you can auto fix problems as well. All right. So here is the option to for the AI settings. You can that that's the thinking budget. So I'm going to choose medium. And here is the maximum number of chat terms. I want to choose the default. And here are the AI providers. So you can you have different type of providers. I'm going to show you briefly how to set this up. All right, so here are the options to choose. Different type of options and integrations and experiments. So you can also delete, reset everything if you like to. This is the hub. Um, this, so this is where you can pick your default template. So you can choose the React.js or the Next.js. All right, so we are just going to choose the React.js. So you can just choose anyone that you prefer and this the store template and it's the inter-experimental stage all right so i'm going to go to the <coughs> ai so here here are the providers all right so here here's the open open ai so you set up app they have the other providers here they have the gpt 4.1 gpt 4.1 mini and or the 04 so you can also add your so these are just the built-in you can add the different type of models by say going here and say add custom it's pretty simple to follow and you put in your api key right here all right so you can set that up you can click here and you set that up very simple you log in you grab your api key all right so we want to go back go back all right, so let's start from here. So here you need to install your node.js. Node All right, and you can set it up if you already have that installed. So if you don't have that, you go to node.js, you go to this link to set it up. And you also, here the second step is to set up the AI model assets. So here you have different options. You want to use the Gemini Google, Google API key. 
So you want the Gemini or the Flash, these are the built-in. Just put in your API key here and you select that. All right, so I want to go here. So I want to start from how you're going to set up with the custom provider. So we are going to choose Olama. So you type Olama and I'm going to do the display name as Olama. So here we are going to use the base URL. The base URL is I'm going to copy that and paste it here. All right, that's the base URL. So I'm going to say this is the environment variable, which is optional. So I'm going to say add. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to just enter, enter new Olam. So I'm going to say test, test model. I'm going to say save. All right. And the setup is complete. So I'll go back. All right, so when I click on that, you can see it's ready. Okay, so before we do that, you first need to install Olama on your, on your system. So if you want to do that, you go to olama.com and you download, depending on available Mac OS, Windows, or Linux version. And if it is done installing, you see like an icon like this, right? And I can confirm that when I go to my CMD. I already have Olama list. So here are the Olama models that are installed. All right, cool. Okay, so the next thing what we want to do now is if you don't have it, you can say Olama pool, All right? You can pull any model you would like to use here. Okay, so now I have coin three, Gemma three, 270M. Uh, GPT, I uh, have the 20, 20 billion parameter. So I'm going to close out here. All right, it's pretty simple. Or oh, you can check it from here. Okay, what we want to do now is let's go back to the app. All right, and let's go to, so right, we have this running. Okay, so I want to go to the apps and I go to build. So I want to say build. All right, so now I'm here. You select build. And when you go here, you can see auto. The auto automatically selects the best model. All right, so now I just set up with Olama. So I'll go to Olama and I have different types of models that I already showed you here. You can see all those models here. That is within Olama. So I go to Olama and I select, let's say, GPTO. All right. So I'm going to say this. So this is selected. All right. And I'm going to say sign up form. And I run this. And it should take some time. All right. All right. So I'm not going to, I don't really have. A powerful machine so i'm going to exit out of here so i'm going to show you so this is pretty how you can set this up with ulama and build your apps all right so the next step what i want to show you is i'm going to show you how to do this with the open router right so i'm going to go back here to apps and i'll go back here so if i wanted to select go here the open router all right, they're already built in models. So we have the Quant 3 coder. All right, so here is the link to the open router. So the open router provides a unified API that gives you access to hundreds of AI models through a single endpoint. So, and it is also most cost effective option, right? So if you want to Grab the API key, you just go to this. I'm going to attach that link, you go to keys, API key. All right, and here is where you can find different types of models. All right, it's pretty easy, right? So what I'm going to do is, let me go back to the, grab my API key. All right, so I'm going to grab my API key for that. All right, so after this video, I'm going to change the API key. All right, 
so if you wanted to add your own custom models you could just go here you go to the model id so for example let me show you how to do this for example you go to deep seek and you just copy this copy the name add custom and you paste it here and you just add a name to that and you just save it it's right it's pretty easy okay i'm just going to say deep seek model it's pretty simple deep seek deep seek model and you just say add and you have it here all right so what i'm going to do is let me grab that api key and I'm going to paste it here and I'll say save. All right, and it's done. So I'm going to go back and I'll go in here and I go to open router and I want to grab the quant three coder and I grab it. All right, so we are ready to build the apps. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say something simple build me build me a sign up form let me just do this and let's see how this works so here you can import your can import any file or yeah, an app you've already worked on so you can just go here and select folder okay so here you can also attach files here as well so let's start and say build me a sign up form so you are using the point three so let's see how this works all right so when i say approve all right then we go to restart All right, here it has built a really perfect sign up form. So you can sign up with your name, say data edge, data edge, right? And you can put your email address, your password, confirm password, and you sign up. So here is the preview. And here is if there is any problem, All right? You can run it here. You can check your code. So here is the code if you want to make changes to that. It has the location all the files here and right here is where you configure the environment and everything and here is where you can publish right so you can publish you connect to that your github and you can use the vessel to deploy that right it's pretty simple okay so what we want to do now is let's build another one so let me say build okay we can say Build me a landing page for my AI AI automation services. All right, so let's see how this works. Right, guys, it looks like I'm out of credit. Okay, so I can show you that with OpenAI. So let's go back to settings and let's go to the OpenAI. So what I want to do now is let me grab my API key. Um, grab my API key. So I'm going to grab my API key here. I'm going to say save. All right, so when I'm done, go back and let me select OpenAI. So I'm going to do four. I'm going to say build me a landing page for my AI automation services. Let's look at how this works.
All right. So let me say approve. All right. This is so beautiful, right? So it has to supercharge your business with AI automation. And it says get started. It's created really nicely. What we offer instant automation, adding all the services. And look at how it's splitting out. It has contact us. It has the name, your name, your email, and the messages. This is really beautiful, right? All right. And you can just go ahead and just publish that, right? Okay. Guys, this was this was all that I want to share with you today. I hope you like this video. Do try it out. Let me know what you were able to build with this. All right. So if you like this video, do hit a like and subscribe and see you in the next one.